Paul here. I've wanted to do a video on removing stumps uh, faster. I see a lot of guys have trouble and uh, I see two main things that slow them down. The stumps I'm talking about are 12 to 24 inch diameter. See if this scenario sounds familiar to you. You're going to get that stump out in about an hour because you just have a beast of a machine. Should be no problem for it. 45 minutes later, you've cut through two roots and uh, you feel it's time to check and see if that stump is free. I don't know why, but two roots seems to be the time to check and see if you've freed up that stump. That seems pretty universal. Some guys grab the stump with the teeth and pull it towards them. Some guys like to push it away. I used to like to stick the bucket right over the top of the stump. That was the way I did it. Well, the stump is nowhere near being free. You've made some nice uh, toothpicks and splinters out of those roots, but uh, you didn't make the progress you thought you were going to make. I've done all of those things and it wasn't until I started removing more stumps that uh, I actually found a better way. You need to move your bucket out further away from the side of the stump. I found that the sweet spot usually starts at about 30 inches away from the side of the stump. I'll use this photo to show you the root structure of a tree. That tree looks to be about 16 inch diameter. To give you a perspective, that's my son on the left of the picture. He's 6 foot 4 inches. So you can see how far out those roots go. The further out you go, the easier your digging is going to be. Yeah, you're going to have a bigger hole, but it's going to go faster. So that's tip number one. So you freed up the stump. It's in the hole, but you can't get it out. So here's tip number two. While the stump is in the hole, roll it on its side so that the stump is horizontal and the root ball is vertical. Now hold it in place with your backhoe. Now you need to shovel enough dirt behind the root ball of the stump so that it doesn't fall back into the center. And you want to have enough dirt behind it so that you can let go of the stump with your backhoe. Once the stump is secured by the dirt, you can let go of it and uh, move your tractor and backfill the hole. Once the hole is filled, the stump can't roll back down into the hole again. Now you could roll it out with the back hole or push it out with the front loader. Hope you found it helpful. Please subscribe.